A thing that's always intrigued me in Destiny is trying to take two subclass verbs from different elements and trying to incorporate both of them into one build. Before this season, it wasn't really possible and the ones that you could do weren't that viable, but I'm happy to say with Season of the Wish, this build is absolutely insane. The reason this is going to be called Dark Lock or Darkness Perfected is the fact that we're going to be using Stasis and Strand verbs all at the same time and demolishing everything. 90% of the gameplay you're going to see from this is from being 21 Blight levels under, and also 9 in the time you're going to see that our primary weapon does all this work this genuinely has become one of my favorite builds in the game and it's what i'm going to be running probably throughout most of the season really quick before we jump into it i do want to say thank you all so much for the most recent support on my previous video it had been an extremely long time since i had uploaded so seeing all the support from you all really meant the world to me i truly appreciate each and every single one of you and if you are new here and you're enjoying my content consider sticking around i'm going to be posting a ton of content with the new season and this build is only just the start all right jump right into it i think we need to first take a look at our subclass and let's take a look at our aspects ice flare bolts so shattering a frozen target spawns seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets this aspect is very strong for adding additional crowd control you're going to be freezing enemies all the time so this just means now when you kill them they will freeze more enemies which can go on to freeze even more enemies our next aspect is going to be bleak watchers so press and hold the grenade button to convert your grenade into a stasis turret that fires slowing projectiles at nearby targets bleak watcher is one of the strongest aspects in the game especially for in-game content you basically get a whole other teammate on your side this teammate will then go on to slow and eventually freeze enemies and then if you kill those frozen enemies ice flare bolts proc that will freeze more enemies and you can just slow and freeze everything on the battlefield now for our fragments for this build we're going to be taking whisper of fissure so increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target this is going to be very nice because again you're going to be freezing things everywhere on top of that you also are going to be making stasis crystals with this build once we get to the artifact so everything's going to do bigger explosions and do more damage then next up we have whisper of refraction so defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy since you're freezing everything you're now going to be able to get your class ability back a lot this will actually play into a bunch of our mods as well and also just help you out with your survivability because i would highly recommend running healing rift now our next fragment is going to be whisper of shards so shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate shattering additional stasis crystals increase the duration of this benefit this is going to be extremely important for getting your grenade cooldown rate back again once we get laid into the artifact we will be able to make stasis shards and you can have this proc 100% of the time. And next up, we have Whisper of Rending. So primary ammo weapons do increase damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. This is very nice because now every time we freeze a target, we do more damage with our primary weapon. And on top of that, again, we will make stasis crystals. I do want to jump over into the artifact now because these are extremely important for the subclass and our primary weapon. So our first one is going to be Pillar of Ice. So defeating and encased combatant spawns a stasis crystal. This is what I was talking about. Now, every time you defeat a frozen target, you will spawn stasis crystals, which again can proc things like Whisper of Shards and also Whisper of Renin, you will do more damage to them. And then our other artifact perk is going to be Held of Storm. So shattering in case targets and stasis crystals deal increased damage. Shattering stasis crystals release shards of ice that damage and slow targets. This is extremely nice because if you remember Whisper of Fissures, that is pretty much doing the exact same thing with doing that increased damage. So now you're getting even more damage. And on top of that, when you destroy the stasis crystals, you also will send out these slowing projectiles. And again, your Bleak Watcher makes slowing projectiles so they will stack and you can freeze even more enemies. And this is where things get extremely fun with the strand aspect of the build. Remember, we are taking Whisper of Rending, so our primary weapons will do more damage to frozen targets and stasis crystals. And you can take things like Quicksilver Storm, which has the ability to load grenades into the gun. And since this technically is a primary weapon, those grenades do primary damage which will proc off of Whisper of Rendi. As you've been seeing in the gameplay, this absolutely destroys. And again, this is all minus 21 power. This is a primary weapon doing this much damage just because you're freezing targets and shooting a grenade launcher on them. Now, the way you can play heavily into the strand aspect of it is that if you do have the Quicksilver Storm Catalyst, it will be strand and you can take things like unraveling orbs. So picking up an orb of power grants strand weapons unraveling rounds. This is nice because you'll be able to make orbs and now on top of slowing and freezing, you're also applying the unravel effect. And if that wasn't enough, you also have the benefit of Horde Shuttle. So damaging unravel targets with the weapon occasionally spawns a threatening. Since you have unravel everywhere, since it spreads all the time and you have it up infinitely with unraveling orbs you now are also making threatlings so just with quicksilver storm you're doing insane damage with the grenade launcher with for rending you're making unravel rounds you're making threatlings and on top of that you're going to be able to slow and freeze everything it is the ultimate strain and stasis combination together 
And then the final way besides our mods we're going to heavily buff this up is that we're going to be taking our exotic, the Osmiomancy Gloves. This has the exotic perk, Fervent Cold Snap. Your Cold Snap grenades have an additional charge that recharges quicker on direct impact as sneakers spawn from Cold Snap grenades travel further. So this is now going to let you have the ability to run two Bleak Watchers at the same time, which is very cool. You can also just throw your Cold Snap grenade and they have general buffs as well to travel further. Cold Snaps are extremely strong and the very cool part is that if you get a direct impact with the Cold Snap grenade, then it falls to the ground and freezes the enemy you get even more energy back you can freeze an entire battlefield with this to set up your easy kills with quick silver storm and then get the whole chain going of unraveling rounds stasis crystals threatlings all the good stuff we went over and if it wasn't obvious definitely make sure you equip the cold snap grenade so you can actually play into the exotic and then for stat distribution, I would highly recommend 100 resilience for survivability, 100 discipline so you can get your grenade back as much as possible. And then if you can, I would get to 100 recovery so that you can spam your rift a lot more, which again, will play heavily into our mods and your survivability. And speaking of our mods, let's jump over into them. If you all would like to see an in-depth breakdown of this build, be sure to head over to Mobilytics. I will link everything down below. Over there, you will find a breakdown of this entire build and you can look at it over there while I go over it in the video. But all right, let's start off with our helmet. And first off, we're gonna be taking a strand siphon. So rapid strand weapon combos create an orb of power so this means now your quick silver storm can make orbs which you want to do so you can get armor charge and proc unraveling rounds i also like to take a heavy ammo finder so this increases the drop chance of heavy ammo on kill this is nice since quick silver storm isn't exotic it's getting an extra boost so you can just make more heavy whatever heavy and special weapon you want to run with this build doesn't really matter just based on whatever surges you're going into or whatever activity you're going into you can also just swap this out for pretty much anything else but things like ashes assets don't really work with this build because your grenades aren't getting kills. But then finally, I like to take a dynamo, so reduce the super cooldown when you're using your class ability near targets. Since we are going to have the ability to spam our class ability a lot, we can just get even more super energy now, which is extremely nice. I will say Winter's Wrath is not the best super in the game, but when it comes to add clear, it is nice to have. You can just kind of freeze everything, get a res off maybe, and you can definitely make it work. The next up are our gauntlets, and I like to take a strand loader, so it increases the reload speed of strand weapons. This is extremely nice for your quick silver storm, since that is going to be the primary weapon you're running all the time. The next up i like to take a bolstering detonation so it grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade this is nice because you're going to throw grenades a lot but what's really cool if your bleak watcher shoots an enemy this will also grant you class ability energy so this is just another way to get your healing rift back which again can play into dynamo and then on top of that i like to take a grenade kickstart so when your grenade energy is fully expended your armor charge is consumed and you gain grenade energy for each armor charge used this is going to be the only way we're taking advantage of armor charge so we're going to be at three armor charge stacks all the time once we throw our grenade we're going to get a bunch of energy back which is extremely nice now for our chest piece always always just take resistant mods you don't really need anything else in here this is just going to help out your survivability even more now for our boots i do like to take a recuperation so replenish health each time you pick up an orb of power since we're searching out these orbs it's nice to take orb base mod so this is just going to give us health now on top of also granting us unraveling rounds next up i like to take an innervation so reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power obviously getting grenade energy back is very nice and then absolution so reduces all ability cooldowns each time you pick up an orb of power this is going to be nice again for grenade energy and also giving you some of that class ability energy back and so overall with these three mods and the fact that you can proc unraveling rounds definitely be on the lookout for those orbs because you want to pick them up all the time and then for our bond i do like to take a bomber so it reduces grenade cooldown when you use your class ability again we're going to be able to spam our class ability a lot just like at grenades this is just going to grant you even more energy for that grenade also like to take a powerful attraction so it automatically collects nearby orbs of power when you activate your class ability since you can spam the class ability a lot you can just suck up all the orbs around you if there are some out in the distance which is very very cool if you want to take pretty much anything else right here you could but i honestly like this because again picking up those orbs do a a lot for you with these mods and also give you unraveling rounds and then finally i like to take a reaper shortly after using your class ability your next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power this did get nerfed but in all honesty it is still very strong because you will get your rift back pretty much once that cooldown is gone down so you can always make an orb each time you do place a rift down and then pairing that with your siphon mod you're going to be able to make orbs everywhere with quicksilver storm and speaking of quicksilver storm there is one thing i did forget to mention on top of the threatlings, the unravel, the slow, the freeze, the crystals, if you do have the catalyst, it, this thing can also make tangles. So you just have a bunch of the verbs from both darkness subclasses play into this build and it absolutely destroys on end game content and like to do at the end of all these videos this is my transmog if you want to make your warlock look like this i took advantage of some of the deep stone crypt armor some of the seasonal armor and also some of the season deep armor and of course i got the brand new witcher chest piece and the osmiomancy gloves i think it looks absolutely sick this definitely looks like some sort of darkness lord or the dark lock as i'm calling it 
is very, very cool. And again, this build is very powerful. But all right, that is going to do it all for me. Let me know what you all think about this build in the comments below. I know a lot of people were anticipating Stasis being back on the menu with this current season. And the artifact perks for Stasis are extremely strong. And then if you do pair that with the other elements or things like Strand, you could even do it with Solar in some ways. It is very, very good. This is some of the most fun build crafting I've had in Destiny because I love just taking aspects from other things, putting them together and seeing them perform well. Anyways, though, I really hope you all enjoy and I wish you all the best of luck if you are going to try to put this build together for yourself. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.